Before you write your literature essay, you need to be sure that you know the play very, very well. So all of that background work is really important. You can't write a good essay if you don't have good knowledge of the play. So what do you need to know? You need to know the story. You need to know the main characters and you need to know the themes. Please go through all of the notes that you've been given to make sure that you know that you have all that knowledge in your head before you write your exam. So when we write a literature essay, remember, you don't need a hundred ideas. You need four to five good ideas. And it's not that difficult to come up with four ideas. The best literature essays have really good main ideas. Make sure that those main ideas are on the topic. Each main idea must have evidence from the play. So you can't just go off uh, on a general discussion. You must have evidence from the actual play itself. You must talk about what happened in the play. So what is your essay going to consist of when it's finally finished? You will have an introduction, that's one paragraph, a body, which would be four to five paragraphs, and a conclusion. So obviously that body of the essay is going to be made up of your main ideas, and you will be taught how to structure your introduction as well as your conclusion. I have put all the steps here, follow these steps. Um, if you miss a step, your essay can fall flat. A really good plan is going to make a really good essay. So please read through step one. We've already mentioned that. Uh, step two is very important because this is about reading the essay question. Many essays go wrong because learners have not read the question. You have to read that question very well and make sure that you underline the keywords. Your essay needs to answer all aspects of the question. So here is a topic from the November 2021 national paper. Deception and manipulation are central to the tragic consequences in the play Hamlet. Critically, critically discuss the extent to which you agree with this statement. Your response should take the form of a well-constructed essay of 400 to 450 words. To start with, you look for the key words in the topic and you underline them. So the key words that I found are deception, manipulation, tragic consequences. Critically discuss, you must just discuss the topic with insight. Remember that deception relates to the theme of appearance versus reality. The chief deceiver is Claudius. He is the one who is very false and is not at all what he seems to be. He puts on a front of being a good and just and kind king, king but we know that is definitely not what he is. Hamlet is not really a deceptive character, although he does use the antique disposition in order to investigate Claudius. But Hamlet is who he seems to be. He is genuine. Please go over your themes notes to make sure that you understand this theme very well. 
once you have analyzed the question, then you start doing your mind map using all of the keywords. Note that you're being asked to what extent you agree with this topic. You may completely agree or completely disagree or agree and disagree. Remember, when you disagree, you've got to be very careful when you are asked whether you disagree. Rather, don't disagree because often these types of essays or questions do not work out. So you can choose one, two or three. Three is the best when you show both sides of the topic. At this stage, you are selecting your main ideas for your essay. Good main ideas make a good essay. And where do those main ideas come from? They come from your mind map. You need maximum five main ideas. Four is a good number. So remember that each main idea will become a paragraph. So how do you write your introduction? Please use this format box to write the introduction. It is not the only way of writing an introduction, but if you have no idea where to start with this introduction, I'm giving you this format to follow, and you can't go wrong with it. Your first sentence must repeat the words of the question and list the topics that you will discuss in your essay. So, number one says, repeat the words of the question. Write your first sentence in the space below. Deception and manipulation are central to the tragic consequences of the play. As you can see, I have repeated the question almost exactly as it is. So your next step is to summarize the topics that you will discuss in the essay. So this is still your introduction. There are words you can start with. This essay will discuss or this essay will look at. Please be very clear on your points of view at the beginning of the essay. Don't change your mind halfway through. Stick to the main topic. Then you can't go wrong. Just stick with that topic. When it comes to writing your paragraphs, you need a very clear structure for each paragraph. I want you to use the PEEL method. PEEL stands for point, evidence, explanation, link. Here is an example of a paragraph using the Peel method. I suggest you plan each paragraph like this. Draw your columns so that you create a well-structured paragraph. Please read carefully through this paragraph so that you understand how to do it. Finally, we come to the conclusion. In your conclusion, you return to the main topic of your essay. Therefore, it is clear that deception and manipulation are central to the tragic consequences in the play Hamlet. You sum up your main ideas and you add your own insight. When you show that you have returned to the main topic, you have shown the examiner that you have written a well-rounded essay.